Here we are again with another very strange and hard to diag issue. This time it's on a 2006 Toyota RAV4 with a 2.4. I take that back. It's not hard to diag, but it's a Toyota 2.4. I don't work on these very often. They're like indestructible. Anyways, back on track. What was happening was nothing. It drove perfectly fine. There was no drivability issues at all, but it kept throwing P0335 for crankshaft position sensor circuit. Although it didn't cause any drivability issues, the customer did not want to look at their dash looking like that all the time. It's annoying. The first thing I did was inspected it and found that it has already been replaced. The first time this came in is when I looked at the crank sensor, seen that it was replaced and it was fine. I cleared the code. I went and drove it, road tested it, and it was perfectly fine. I could not get the code to come back on, so I sent her away with it. Two days go by and she brings it back in. Same code is back. So I cleared the code and I was determined to drive that thing until I got that to come back on her to replicate the situation to make it happen so I can monitor it in the data. So I go out and I decide to put some load on the motor. Got on it almost wide open, bing, light turned on. Cleared the codes and did it again. Took off hard and bing, light turned on. I jumped into the data and monitored the cam and crank signals and got on the throttle and I lost cam signal for a split second. What threw me for a loop on this one was that it was a crankshaft position sensor circuit code, which is something wrong with the circuit. It wasn't like a correlation or not a sync code. Camshaft, implausible, nothing. Only crankshaft circuit. I did a little bit of research. I found out that nobody told Toyota that the OBD2 system includes codes and has them available for other issues like uh, the cam sensor has its own code, the correlation bank one is its own code. They don't have to automatically default to crankshaft position sensor circuit. The next step was to remove the valve cover. As soon as I got the valve cover off, I found this inside. Naturally, I wanted to figure out where this came from. I don't think that's just supposed to be floating around in here. I think it came from there. This just so happens to be a part of the camshaft that the cam position sensor gets its signal from. We're about to make a breakthrough. This piece here that goes on the camshaft right there is supposed to look like this. And what that does is it holds the camshaft in place from walking forward or backwards. What was happening is when you put this engine under a load, the camshaft was walking away from the cam sensor just enough for the cam sensor to say, where the fuck did you go? All that information gets sent to the Toyota PCM and the PCM goes crankshaft position sensor circuit, which is ridiculous, but good news because we found it. We're going to get her fixed. No more lights and the customer's going to be happy.